We'll reconvene this meeting of the Board of Lane County Commissioners. Welcome back to Harris Hall and welcome to Harris Hall. Uh, this afternoon, uh, Mr. Tim Elsie is sitting in for uh, Steve Mucker Heisey. Thank you for doing that today, Mr. Elsie. Uh, we have a couple of items on the agenda. Uh, item 14 is Public Works, Order 17-04-11. Sorry, I'm looking at the wrong document. Dash. No, it's a uh, second hearing, reading and public hearing on Ordinance 1348. Excuse me. Uh, and today we have uh, Mr. Mark Rust. Mr. Elsie? Um, Mr. Rust will present. Good afternoon, Commissioners. For the record, I'm Mark Rust with Lane County Public Works Land Management Division. Before you today is a citizen-initiated plan amendment and zone change. And it is being proposed to take the plan designation from an agricultural designation to a forest designation, and then also rezone the land from an exclusive farm use zone to an impacted forest zone. The Planning Commission held a public hearing on this matter and recommended unanimously for approval to the Board of County Commissioners. Staff's review also includes a recommendation for approval. The, I'm going to rely on the written staff report for the detailed uh, approval criteria and the findings. Um, we went through the uh, criteria and found that this satisfies the approval criteria, and we're asking the <clears throat> board to conduct a public hearing today, and then, based on the testimony you would receive, recommend approve, that you adopt a motion to approve. So I'll keep it brief unless there's any other questions. That's all I have. Thank you, Mr. Rust. Any questions or comments for Mr. Rust? And that's the uh, entirety of the presentation? That's all I have. I know that uh, I believe the applicant is here today to testify. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Then uh, with that, I will uh, open the public hearing on Ordinance 1348. Do we have anyone signed up for public hearing? Then I will ask uh, anyone, the applicant, to step forward to state your name and uh, address for the record. Thank you, Commissioner. Thank you. Uh, my name is Tom Lamphier. I'm here on behalf of the property owners, uh, Peter Allison and Lynn Fessenden. Uh, our request today is, uh, is for a change in the plan designation and zoning for this property to put it in the most appropriate category. Um, right now, it's in the uh, agricultural plan designation, and the use of the property is, is more appropriate uh, as a forest uh, designation. The uh, property is uh, a little more than five acres in size on Grimes Road, about seven miles west of Junction City. It's developed with a residence originally constructed as a guest house in 1988. Uh, justification for the change in plan designation uh, is found in the uh, soil productivity and the actual use of the property. The uh, soils are more productive for forestry use than agricultural use. The parcel is in forest deferral, and there's been a uh, report generated by a professional forester documenting that the property meets the uh, stocking levels of the Forest Practices Act. Uh, once uh, it's been determined that uh, forest is the more appropriate plan designation, uh, you need to assign a, a zoning district to it that fits that plan designation. And the choices are between uh, F1 zone and an F2 zone. Uh, differences between those zones are primarily uh, the commercial, industrial type uh, forest parcels in the county are zoned F1. So you'll find the uh, National Forest Lands, the uh, Weyerhaeuser, Justina, uh, the industrial type ownerships are zoned F1. They're the large parcels. Uh, the other parcels uh, that are uh, more fragmented, smaller parcels in private ownership uh, are usually zoned F2. Uh, that's what we're requesting for this, this property. Um, the justification for that is uh, determined through uh, a review of a rural comprehensive plan, Goal 4, Policy 15, which looks at the uh, characteristics of the F1 zone versus the characteristics of the F2 zone. And in this case, uh, this parcel is, is predominantly uh, showing the characteristics of the F2 zone based on the uh, development pattern surrounding the property and in the nearby area. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll stop and uh, answer any questions you might have. 
Thank you very much. Uh, any questions or comments? Um, Commissioner Sorensen, Ms. Clark. Um, I noticed that when the Planning Commission held their public hearing, there was no testimony other than yours at the Planning Commission. Is that all accurate? That's correct. There was no opposition, and the Planning Commission uh, recommended unanimously yeah. for approval. And there's no opposition at this level either? Uh, I, not yet. Okay. <laughs> yeah, well. It's still open. We're still going to have the hearing. Okay. <laughs> but, but as far as you know, Mr. Rust? That's correct. There okay. has been no opposition yeah. Thank whatsoever. Thank you. Excellent. Ms. Clark, nothing? Then I believe we are ready for uh, a motion. I'll move approval. Oh, excuse me. Need we need to close the public hearing, hearing first. <laughs> I will close the public hearing. Move approval. Second. Been moved and seconded. Uh, one second. Roll call, Commissioner Sorensen. Aye. Commissioner Lykin. Aye. Commissioner Farr. Aye. And uh, bear with me just one second, Mike. I'm a little bit behind on this. Uh, passes unanimously. Ordinance 1348 passes unanimously. Thank you. That was supposed to take 45 minutes, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are very efficient. <laughs> Thought I had plenty of time to catch up, and you guys had me sprinting to the finish line. All right, uh, item 14B is order 1704413 in the matter of electing whether or not to hear an appeal of hearings official affirm decision approving a special use permit for an expanded expansion of an existing K-12 school in the exclusive farm use. And today we have Eric Forsall. Good afternoon, commissioners. For the record, Eric Forsall, staff planner, land management division. In the matter before you, the board is asked to elect whether or not to conduct an on-the-record hearing for an appeal of a hearings official deci decision approving the expansion of an existing K-12 private school known as Oak Hill School. Specifically, the applicant requested to construct one new structure and expand two others, totaling 9,500 square feet in floor area. Subject property is zone exclusive farm use E25 and is identified as assessor's map and tax lot 18314, tax lot 2500. It's also contiguous with 2501. Um, generally, the property is located directly adjacent to Lane Community College to the west and Interstate 5 southbound to the east. The applicant in this matter is Oak Hill School, and they are represented by Liam Sherlock. The appellant is Landwatch Lane County, and they are represented by Mr. Salvatore Catalano. The appellant asserts numerous allegations of error in this matter, but the focus appears to be on the interpretation of Oregon Administrative Rule, specifically 660-033-0130 and 120. Also, Oregon Revised Statute 215.130. And then lastly, whether our LUPA is right for review in this case. In simpler terms, the appellant asserts that because the school is within three miles of an urban growth boundary and exceeds 100 person design capacity limits for one or any combination of structures, that the special use permit cannot be approved for the expansion. The hearings official reviewed the allegations of error found that they were adequately addressed in his decision and does not recommend the board review this matter. In addition, the appellant has not requested the board to review this matter. Uh, Lane Code 14600 subsection 3 establishes the procedures and criteria applicable to the board's decision to hear or not hear, to hear or not hear the appeal on the record, specifically whether the issue is of countywide significance whether it will re reoccur with frequency and there is need for policy guidance, and whether it contains a unique environmental resource. The director finds that uh, none of those apply, and neither the director or the hearings official have recommended review on this matter. For these reasons, the planning director recommends a motion for option one described in the memorandum before you and that the board elect not to conduct an on-the-record hearing for this appeal and recommend that the board expressly agree with and adopt the hearings official's decision. This concludes my presentation. Thank you for your time. 
Thank you. Um, any questions or comments, Commissioner <clears throat> Sorensen? So um, both sides uh, are uh, agreement in agreement on option one. Correct. Correct, Commissioner. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. And just a question I had last week, answered it last week, but uh, is designates schools K through 12, either private or public, is that correct? That's correct, Commissioner. This one is a private school, very good. Then uh, uh, staff recommends option one. Um, do I have a motion? Commissioner, Commissioner Lycan. Mr. Chair, move approval of order 17040403, and this is electing not to hear an appeal. The hearing's official affirm decision approving a special use permit for the expansion of existing K through 12 school and exclusive farm use. We have a motion. For a second. Um, second. Moved and seconded. Discussion to the motion. Just mentioned that for those watching at home, that is uh, option one in today's in this agenda packet. Uh, moved and seconded. No discussion to the motion. I'll call for the vote. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Passes three to zero. Commissioner Bozovich, absent, excused. Thanks, Eric. Thank you, Commissioner. So have a good one. Well, then, wow. <laughs> I'm going to have to redo my afternoon. <laughs> yeah, um, we'll be here more often. <laughs> yeah. Then we'll move along. There you go. <laughs> now, if you all want to stay for our two-plus-hour ex executive session. <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm saying a no on that. Okay. Um, then uh, <clears throat> item 15 today is review of assignments. Uh, Mr. Elsie. Commissioner, um, the notes that I have here show that we have several assignments. One is to check with the city of Eugene for the availability of Harris Hall next week for the interviews to replace Commissioner uh, Farr. Next is to check with the city of Florence to set Are a- Are going to replace Commissioner Farr next week? Did I say Commissioner Farr? I don't know. <laughs> I'm just trying to see if that's what you were really going to do on your first day as acting administrator. Can you let me tell my wife first, what, please? Am I going to be replaced next? I mean, after you get rid of him? Sure. Thank you so much Maybe for pointing know. that out <laughs> so thoroughly. Uh, next is to set a meeting with the city of Florence, a, a JEO in Florence, and also to uh, change United Front travel plans that have been set. And then finally, to set a meeting of the Policy and Procedures Committee uh, one is to write an order regarding the naming of roads or facilities. Two is discuss board processes. And three is to reassign committee assignments that had been previously assigned to Commissioner Stewart, not Commissioner Farr. <laughs> That's it. Uh, any any uh, comments or additions? Okay. Excellent. Good job. Um, then uh, that is the conclusion of today's meeting. Other than we do have an executive need for an executive <laughs> session today. Um, Mr. Chair, what, yes. what time do you anticipate the executive session beginning? What time do you think it will end approximately? Uh, we will begin at uh, one fifty-five. Okay. And end um, according to estimates that I've received around 3 o'clock. Okay. Very good. That is an estimate. Yep. So. Um, which is two hours. Um, so at the, uh, at the conclusion of my reading as into executive session, I'm going to uh, adjourn the regular commission meeting. We'll reconvene at, um, at uh, 155 in the BCC, the Board of County Commissioners Conference Room. The Board of County Commissioners will meet in executive session to conduct deliberations with persons designated by the governing body to carry on labor negotiations. This executive session is held pursuant to ORS 192.6602D, which allows the Board of Commissioners to meet in executive session for the purposes listed above. Representatives of the news media and designated staff shall be allowed to attend executive sessions. All other members of the audience are asked to leave the room. Representatives of the news media are specifically directed not to report on any of the deliberations during the executive session, except to state the general subject of the session as previously, previously announced. No decision may be made in the executive session. We reserve the right to come back out into public session should the need arise. Um, the, only, the only reason we may need to come back out into public session, I should have cleared this before I read that, is that uh, we do have just uh, an other business Commissioner's business section on agenda team requests at the end. So, um, with the board's uh, approval, we could uh, we could conduct that business before we go upstairs to the executive session. 
Uh, they're only, uh, let's see. Other business is all we have on the on the agenda. If there's no other business, then I will adjourn this meeting. And we'll, well, I think we should recess this meeting to the to the executive session. Re recess to the executive. We'll adjourn yeah. at recess the recess, and then we'll thank you. Yep. And there are three of us here, not not yep. four, right? Okay, good. We are recessed. I started it.